Hey everyone, Chris and Avery here, and I've got a very good, exciting episode today because I have been issued a brand new 2021 Freightliner Cascadia. Um, according to the sticker on the door, this thing was rolled off the assembly line last month, so it is brand new right from the factory. Um, I'm going to give you a tour like I always do of my trucks. I'm going to give you a tour of the outside real quick, give you a quick tour on the inside real quick, and uh, Paid a little more emphasis on the things that have changed between last year's model and this year's model. Um, just keep in mind that this is a test truck. We only have five of these here at Averett right now. Typically what will happen is leadership will decide, you know, what features they want on their trucks or new technologies that are coming out that they would, they would like to test and experiment with. They'll order a very small handful of those and then hand those trucks out to the driver council members and I'm on the driver council. Um, just so they can get some real world experience, get some positive feedback, get some negative feedback, what works, what doesn't work out there. And, um, you know, it just goes from there. Sometimes they make the changes fleet wide. Sometimes they scrap the changes altogether. So I don't know if this, all these changes are going to be uh, implemented fleet wide or not. But like I said, just keep in mind, this is a test truck. Okay. So anyway, let's get started with the tour and hopefully I cover anything. All right, let's go. All right, we're going to go around the truck on the outside. Sorry if it's a little noisy here. Um, we got trucks all in out, out of this yard. Not a whole lot to look at as far as new being on the outside of the truck. However, we got these new brackets that come off to hold the mud flaps. We used to have these spring coiled looking things, but they were always cockeyed. You never found one that was actually straight. So it's kind of cool to see these on the trucks now. Um, it keeps the mud flaps nice and straight. They look really good. So those are nice to have. All right, so going around the side, nothing new here really compared to our other trucks. We have uh, tri-pack APUs. Uh, you know, everything just looks the same. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, let me know. Uh, but I've co pretty much covered all of this in my other videos. Nothing new back here. <coughs> Excuse me. Have a hundred gallon fuel tanks on each side. This is your blind spot radar. Now it is a little different compared to our other trucks because our other trucks only cover the tractor. This one covers the tractor and the trailer. So if you have a car at the tail of your trailer in the other lane and you try to get over, you will get an alarm. It goes that far back. So it's just an added protection. All right, another little feature we had added was these little windshields right here wind deflectors because we were getting to the point where water would collect on the mirror or the window in such a way that it, it would um, obscure your vision a little bit due to the aerodynamics of the truck. So they started coming out with a little piece there that helps mitigate that. All right. Standard Detroit engine. All of our Cascadias have Detroit engines in them. Um, never had much problems out of them. They are set for 65 miles an hour. But the reason I have the hood up is because I wanted to show you something new compared to our old trucks. All right, so if you don't know, um, our new trucks have lane keep assist, which is not really self-driving, but it helps, um, helps you keep yourself in the lane and you can feel it through the steering wheel. And so in order for that to happen, we have to have a little bit something new here. So your steering column comes down and normally you just have your steering box, right? Just your steering box. But now we have an additional component right here um, and this helps um, give you force feedback through your steering wheel so you can feel it. And it has several leads going to the cameras and sensors and this is how it works. It's connected straight to your, gearing bo uh, your steering box. We're going to do a deep dive on all the safety features in the truck on another video, so stay tuned for that because I know a lot of you guys have questions about all that and how it works and how it feels and all that, so I want to cover all that, not only for my viewers on YouTube, but also my fellow Aver associates because they're curious since, like I said before, this is a test truck and um, it's just... All right. DEF, pretty standard here. Uh, we do have a big dog box on each side. This one actually is very small because it has some air filters and stuff in it for the APU, for the air conditioning. Um, so I just have my tools in here, basic tools, triangles, and some straps. Now the other side, none of this is in here. So I have my leaf blower over there for cleaning out the trailers 
and the only other thing the other dog box has is the bunk heater which is very small that burns diesel fuel and warms the bunk in the winter time but that's just like on our other Cascadias as well so that's pretty much it for the back and the outside um, there's not a whole lot different like I said the main differences are the mud flap the little wind deflector on the corner of the truck there and the little extra device on the steering box to help with the lane keep assist all right so now we're going to go to the inside all right let's give you an overview of the truck and i'll emphasize again the things that are different in here compared to my old video pretty much everything else is going to be the same but i will give you a quick rundown of just how i have my truck set up to give you an idea of what you may or may not want to do for your truck all right, so the first thing you're going to notice is our seat colors has changed. They are used to be all black, and now they are black and tan. Um, I like them. They look sharp. They match the interior of the truck. The only thing I'm worried about is them getting dirtier a lot easier. So that's the only downside. But until then, they look sharp. All right, we're going to start at the top here. Quick rundown. you got a cubby on each side like this. This one I keep extra soap in, extra hygiene products for my student just in case they forget something. Or if I have extra bars of soap, you know, I can only carry one at a time. So I put them in there. Other side, exact same cubby. This one I keep medicines in, ibuprofen, baby wipes, hand sanitizer, earplugs, uh, band-aids, cortisone, cream, you know, that kind of first aid stuff. Keep all that in there. Across the top, we have another big shelf that goes across the entire truck. Um, I keep my cleaning supplies. Uh, trash bags, paper towels, and my binder, which has all kinds of Averitt um, training stuff in it. We have two cubbies, one above the driver's seat and one above the passenger seat. They are pretty big cubbies, although you're not going to be able to see because of the way the sun is shining in here. This one I keep my um, safety vest and my safety goggles in. That one over there, I usually keep my uh, toothpaste, a cup, my toothbrush, mouthwash and floss because I usually brush my teeth right here before I go to bed all right in the middle is the CB shelf and normally there is a shelf that runs across here halfway so you actually have two compartments but my CB is too big so I have to remove that middle shelf every time I get a new truck and I put it in the side box that way it can be reinstalled once I leave the truck so but my CB is too big to fit underneath the shelf all right Let's see, you wanna go through the dash, I guess, while we're here. Uh, one of the things that's new here is we have automatic headlights now. So if you see on the switch, we have an A. So that one is just like your car. It'll turn your lights on at night, turn them off whenever it's daytime. So that's kind of new, minor feature, but it's new. <laughs> Everything else is the same aside from some buttons and switches. There's my tripod that I use to film the uh, deep dive video of me driving going down the road without holding my phone. So if anyone, you know, tries to accuse me of holding my phone go going down the road, the answer is no. All right. All right, let's keep going around. A couple things are different here on the dash. It, it has to do with the lane keep assist, which is, I call it the self-driving, but it's not really self-driving, but we'll get into it. But that is to enable it or disable it. This one here is your lane departure warning. It's another safety feature. Most trucks already have this, but we'll be covering that in the deep dive as well. Uh, let's see what else. You've got your normal lights here, sleeper dome, ambient light, footwell, dome light, ATC spin, it's your traction control, engine shutdown override, um, your hill, hill assist. That way, you know, I don't know why you would want to turn that off. I really don't. I mean, why would you want to roll backwards on a hill? I don't know. But anyway, that's there. Utility light on the back of the tractor. A light test, which will cycle all the lights on your tractor and your trailer so you can get out and do a walk around to make sure all your lights are working. Uh, interaxial uh, differential lock. Fifth wheel slide. And your airbag dump for your tractor basic stuff just like the other ones and we have three cup holders here like i said my truck's not fully set up yet so you know bear with me <laughs> all right so let's go to the back okay one of the new features on on the back is you have two big cubbies on either side and those were here on the previous versions too however now there is a a, a basket almost on top of these when before it was almost flat so i'm gonna put the camera up there and you're gonna see what i'm talking about you see there 
it's, it's, a, it's a deep basket so things don't fall if a student wants to put stuff up there or I want to put stuff up there. There was an impression before, but never that deep of a basket. So that's a neat change. All right, so this big cubby, I keep all my food stuff. So we're talking snacks, condiments, coffee, can opener, stuff like that. All my food stuff is in that one. On the other side of the truck, I usually keep this one totally uh, clean for a student to put his stuff. Below that cabinet is the closet. So I have all my uniforms hung up here, deodorant in the door, got towels folded right there. Below that is a little cubby where I keep socks, underwear, sleeping shorts, and tank tops. This is nothing that we can use, it's the air intake for the APU. Over here, my laptop bag, but I wanted to show you the inverter. All of our trucks have 1500 watt inverters automatically installed, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, on the other side, we have a TV bracket, have my coffee pot, put a power strip in there. We have a shelf or a drawer here. I keep office supplies in here, so my Atlas, um, trip pack envelopes, that kind of stuff, just to get the job done. Below that is our refrigerator. And I don't have a whole lot in here right now, but it's a good size refrigerator. It's even got a little ice box if you want to try to make ice in there. Okay. And I also have a cooler. Now, some of you may ask, well, why in the world do you got a cooler if you have a refrigerator? Well, the reason is, is because I, it is not uncommon for me to be able to drive six to eight hours straight without stopping. So if I get thirsty, the only way I can get a drink is if I stop the truck and come back to the refrigerator. So I have a cooler that only pretty much has drinks in it so I can just reach and grab and keep driving. I like to keep that door closed. <laughs> that left hand door, that way you make some money. All right, so back in the sleeper, I have a TV on a bracket that I built. Now our trucks do come with their own bracket, but I got a bigger TV since I play video games and stuff. So I got a big TV back here and it's held against the wall on a bracket. Um, standard bed, my laptop is out because I'm gonna be editing this video. Nothing majorly different back here other than the shelf, so. Oh, one more thing I forgot. We do have an air vent up here now for the person sleeping on the top bunk. That is new. Uh, the old Cascadias did not have that and it got very stuffy up here. Um, it's not a whole lot of airflow, but hey, it's something, right? So um, that's nice to have as well. All right, so we're gonna go over the dash panel and all the little controls inside this thing. Um, your first screen is basically all your mileage information. So the temperature outside, how many miles total are on the truck. As you see, there's 2,000 miles on this truck. Uh, your miles per gallon, your voltage, and you can set like a trip and a leg counter as well. Next screen is your driving assistance. Now this is the screen that I will have it on most of the time. Um, it'll show you things like if there's a car in your blind spot. It'll show you what the current speed limit is. It'll show you how fast the car is going in front of you. Um, it shows everything. So I will usually keep that on there, but we'll cover that screen a lot in the uh, deep dive of the safety features in the next video. Eco driver feedback is kind of a gimmick to me. Basically you go in and it tells you how often you use gentle braking and smooth throttle use. So, uh, you know, I think it's a more of a gimmicky thing just to see how well you can do. All right, a digital uh, speedometer if you want to use a digital one. All right, gauges, this is your oil temperature. DPF filter level. How, how much soot is in it, if you need to do a regen or not. This is your differential lock. So if I lock this in place, you're gonna see that light up. See there? Just let you know if it's locked or not. Vehicle settings, which is your cruise control and your engine idle adjust. I'll be going over that in a few minutes here. Alert, so if you have something wrong with your truck, it would show up here. Diagnostics for the mechanics to use. Uh, engine hour counter your audio stream and this is pretty neat because you can sync your phone up to the truck and if you stream like Spotify or Amazon music or anything you can not only control the volume through this but you can also control which track you're listening to so if you don't like the song you're on 
you can push a button on the steering wheel and it'll change tracks. Um, if you want to listen to the radio, uh, the, the track switch button just changes the frequency. So you can go to different channels on the radio. Your telephone will show you your battery on your telephone, the signal strength, and this will also show you people who are calling in and you can decide whether you want to answer it or not. So settings, basic settings here, dash brighting, dash brighting, <laughs> dash brightness, lighting, which controls how long the lights stay on in the truck once the door is open or closed. Units are changing for miles per hour to kilometers, things like that. Set the time on your truck, language, custom gauges, which we don't mess with because there's not a whole lot there, and safety systems. Now we'll go into safety systems just to show you. So it has a traffic sign display. Now that's gonna show you your speed limit sign on your dash back at that other screen. Side guard assist and side guard trailer. Now these are going to show you the little icon to let you know if there's a truck on the side or a vehicle on the side of you without you even having to look in the mirror. So that will show on this screen right here. Let me go back to it. So if you have all that turned on, what'll be is this is your blind spot detector for your truck and then your trailer so right now I don't have anything over there but if I have something over there these will light up you don't even have to look in your mirror of course you still want to whenever you go to make that lane change but if you want to know you know a first glance if anything's over there that'll show you right there your speed limit sign will be right here whenever you're going down the highway it reads the speed limit signs going down the highway all right so I guess that's going to be about it for the dash all right there you have it so you can see the truck is pretty much just like last year's model aside from a few things um, i am going to be doing a deep dive into the safety features of the new truck because i know a lot of people have questions about that um, so look for that in a new video i already have a bunch of clips shot already um, i just have to put all that together so look for that in a future video if you want to know more about the lane departure the um, lane um, uh, the assistant of the lane assist and all that good stuff. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so if you have any more questions about the truck or something I missed, something you want me to elaborate on, uh, feel free to message me. My email address is chris at avert at gmail.com. And uh, hopefully you guys are doing well. Talk to you later. Bye.